taifa katika gazeti ya nation there is today an article in the nation which is talking about azimio that azimio is actually uh, breaking up i want to dispel any rumor that's being spread by irresponsible irresponsible media that there is no danger in azimio uh, collapsing any soon in time soon I really want our media to be responsible. We don't want media to spread unnecessary and irresponsible propaganda. Nobody has left Azimio. Azimio has remained intact, except a few members of parliament who decided to take a walk. But the leadership of Azimio is intact. There is no dissension. There is no disagreement anywhere in Azimio. And that's why we actually are taken aback to see a banner headline in a very uh, uh, senior media in the country. We want to say this is irresponsible journalism that must be discarded. We don't want the media to try to spread despondency among the members of Azimio. We have stood very firm. Azimio is on a course of liberation of this country. As may, there may be sometimes disagreement of opinion on one issue or the other, but that itself does not mean in any way disintegration. So I want to inform all our members, wherever they are, across the country. Azimio Iko Imara. Azimio is remaining united and Azimio will not break up anytime soon. We are on a course to liberate this country from the tyranny and the responsibility. Second thing is that I have just read that the 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 the, uh, the, the CJ that is the the chief justice the head of judiciary has gone for a meeting with the president in the state house. This in our view is an irresponsible move. If there is supposed to be a dialogue, this dialogue should be held in a neutral place. State House is the head of the executive, the seat of the executive. That's where the president resides. If there's going to be a dialogue over issues of governance, the case must be, should be held in a neutral ground. But this means that the judiciary itself is being compromised by the executive. The judiciary is being held hostage by the executive. And we've seen this before. You saw it happen under the rule of Mr. Moy. And we have tried to caution the kind of civil justice not to go to bed with the executive. This is an unfortunate development. And we want to hope that the rest of members of the judiciary are not going to be compromised. We want the judges to remain firm and uh, do their work in accordance with the law and the constitution of our country. This was a statement that we wanted to make today. Thank you very much. God help Kenya. Asante, sir. Asante, sir.